Hey everybody, Mike here, welcome to the channel. Well, we all like 3D printing and we like having 3D filament, but we don't necessarily like spending money on it, right? Especially not if it's filament that's gonna end up in the trash can, uh, AKA poop shoot, right? So, uh, how can we sort that? Well, I'm gonna show you an example. I made a test file and I'm gonna prove to you that you can save tons of money on the filament and also to save a lot of time on the printing, okay? So I'm gonna open up a test file that I made. We're gonna go to file, import, import STL. And I made that a test object. All right, it's too small. Yeah, great, all right, cool. We're gonna rotate it, rotate it, yeah. Let's do that. Let's set that to 90 so we can see what we're doing, okay. All right, so right now we have this kind of base with a torus on top and a ball on top of that. Now let's go in and paint these objects. I'm gonna go into my paint bucket scenario and then I want yellow for the sphere, I want red for the torus and I want blue for the entire bottom section here, right? Okay, now that we have all of that done, I'm gonna click on slice plate. We'll give it a second, there's a warning. Great, doesn't matter. Slice it again, okay. Right, so it says that the print time is four hours and 35 minutes, all right? I'm just gonna write that down. And then more importantly, 27 filament changes, right? 27, that's insane. Well, you see red, yellow, red, yellow. Why is that happening? Well, the sphere is sitting inside the torus. And as 3D printing is based on layer by layer by layer, it's starting to uh, use yellow for the sphere while it's not done yet with the torus, right? So it's skipping uh, back and forth. And that results in this whole stack here, which is dead filament, right? Not good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our prepare tab, get rid of all this. We're in our prepare tab here and we're gonna go in and we're gonna right click on this guy and go to split and we're gonna click to objects. So we're not gonna split it to uh, parts, we're gonna split it to objects. And immediately as we do so, you see the parts dropping down. Why? Because each individual component is now sitting on the base plate here. In reality, once they're printed, they will look the way they looked just before because they will actually sit on top of each other, right? Now I got that done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some additional plates, one and two. And then we're gonna move, and I'm gonna move my sphere over here. And then we'll take our torus, and we'll move it over here, and we got the base over here. Okay, now let's uh, paint them again, and then we're gonna re-splice, okay? So let's start with the torus. And um, we're gonna go in here, and I believe that we made that red, so we'll do that here, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna go back to move. Uh, this was the top one, which was yellow. We're gonna paint that. We're gonna go back. And then this one right here, that was the bottom one. We're gonna go and make that blue, 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 and the bottom blue. Okay, and go back. Now, we're still seeing filament stacks everywhere because it was originally green. But as soon as we splice again, that will disappear, okay? So we're gonna go to splice plate and on red, it says 41 minutes. And more importantly, filament changes one, right? Not 27, one. And the whole filament stack is gone, okay? Now we're gonna to go to the yellow one and that's gonna be 31 minutes and zero changes. Well, one, yeah, it's, it's yellow. And then finally, we're gonna to go to the blue one and that's gonna be 51 minutes and again, one change. So instead of 27 filament changes, each thing has one filament change, right? And you can see that all these filament stacks are gone. So that's how you go from, uh, let's see, what is that? 50, uh, 90, 120, you go from four hours and 45 minutes to two hours and what, 20 minutes, something like that? I think two hours even, let's see, 90, 120, yeah, two hours. So that's less than half, right? Cool. Now, 
you're probably saying, yeah, but what if I can't split up my object because I saw that one coming, right? Okay. Now, in this case, this object has been made to be able to split because originally there were three objects. And chances are, when you load in an existing model, that that's the case as well. But what if it's not? What do you do? Well, let's go in here and go to File and New, and I'll show you. All right, so let's imagine this, right? Let's say we have a character and the character is blue, but he has red arms and you want to avoid uh, constant filament changes, but there's no way to, um, you know, to separate the arms because it's all one model. Now in Bevan Studio, there's an option called cut and that's what we're gonna do, right? And to illustrate how that works, I'm just gonna take a simple object, um, let's say a cylinder. So I'm gonna right click go to add primitive and let's do a cylinder. I'm going to stretch it up a little bit like so. Now, once you cut this in half, or let's say you get your model and you cut your arms off, you're like, well, hey, that's not ideal because now we've got a character with two separated arms and I have to glue them back on and that's just a big pain, right? No, because um, there's an option in BAM Studio that will allow you to cut objects and then create a peg and hole situation where you can basically click them back in place. Now, if it is a huge filament uh, saver, why wouldn't you, right? And it can even give you an option to print bigger because you now have more space because you're doing it separately, okay? Now, we have this object right here. Now let's cut it in half. Uh, hit C on the keyboard or click on this uh, model thing up here, right? And then what you can do is you can change the angle where you want to cut it. You can change the height where you want to cut it. You can do all that. Now, right now you see that there's kind of a dovetail situation going on. And you can see that up here, dovetail, right? You can also go to a planar cut. Now, uh, when you do that, I think I'll go with the dovetail because it looks kind of cool and it's a very, uh, very clear to see what's going on, right? Dovetail. Uh, I want it to be separated into objects, objects A and object B, let's say left arm, right arm, whatever, right? And I'm gonna click on perform cut. When I do that, you see that I now have this object with that slice thing in it, and I got the one down here with the peg shape thing. And now what I can do is I can go and grab a new plate, and I can take one of these, and let's click outside and then click back on it, take one of them, click on the move tool, move it over here, and now I can go and slice them separately, okay? I'm getting a warning here, but that's fine. Okay, so filament changes zero, all right? Let's go in here, and again, filament changes zero. So that's a good way to save a lot of money on filament, all right? And uh, yeah, that's how that works. So let me know in the comments what you think. If you think this is a huge time saver, then uh, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos in the future, like for example, a completely free and awesome uh, software package to uh, work on your models, then hit that sub button, right? Okay, that's it for me. See you guys in the next one. Bye.